Iguana exterminators, we get our iguanas. Oh, look at large and unhappy in there. Yep, he definitely looks like a pool pooper to me. <laughs> I bounced it right off the seawall. <laughs> Yeah, it's exactly what that is, a little basilisk lizard. Just for you, buddy, invasive species? Yeah, night night. Traps are working. How about it there, kiddo? You look like a pool pooper. Oh, yeah. Here we have another one on the dock. He got the memo. That one got the memorandum of understanding that the docks in the marina area at this place was to be left alone. And he chose to ignore it. Alright, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Iguana Exterminators here. We, uh, we're back out here in Deerfield Beach. And uh, we're getting ready to start it up. Let's see how many we can pile up today. Let's go. Alrighty folks, here we go. I, Is that true pellets? Yeah. 25 caliber pellet gun. All right, folks. We got two in the uh, two over there in the pool area just a minute ago. Now we're over at the marina. We're gonna let those guys rest for a few minutes and then circle back around. It's a 
this was the... <laughs> That's the first day. <laughs> oh my god. Oh lord. You must be doing a good job because I'm not seeing many of them here. I don't know. They know. You must be, get, you must be getting them all. It, the, well, I'm putting pressure on them so they're moving around to other yeah. other spots. Because I think they maybe they come from over there. I don't know because they always come right out of that area there. Yep. Yeah. Good the, luck. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, right off the seawall. Ooh, right off the seawall. Ooh, there's one. Thank you for coming to play. Rolled him. Oh, there he goes, off the seawall. Oh, look who's coming out. Hello, kids. Oh, yeah, it didn't like that. Other one. Ooh! Spun him back around. Just a hint of movement. Alright, one floater. Where are the rest of the floaters? Alright folks. Oh, did we have just another one sneak out here? I think we did. Actually, I think this is maybe one of those little basilisks, the brown ones.
Yep, that's exactly what that is. A little basilisk lizard. And another one. Just for you, buddy, invasive species. Yeah, night night. folks i think that's about all we've got here let's uh let's go head over to the i was going to say over to the other side of the marina but we're going to wait on that we're going to circle around to that one at last instead let's go all the way down to the end see what we can get unlucky kid right here who just did not under, did not get that memorandum of understanding did you kid ISO stamped and certified most recent edition <laughs> wow these kids seem to really maybe be getting some of the message though the rest of them not too many out here let's go check the other end <laughs> I bounced it right off the seawall. <laughs> I'll have to go get the tongs to get that one. Oh, I see another one. Slinking up over there. That's the one I want over there. Yeah, it knows it's been seen now. seawall rat. Oh, who is this making a run for the border? Yeah. Ooh! Bet that one's going over. hiding right behind that cleat. 
and I'm not going to shoot at that cleat. That's right, come on out. Oh, right off the side of the seawall. So let's go over here and uh, let's go get this one out of the trap. Oh, look, look, there's his buddies. Thanks for getting it out of the way. Here we have another one on the dock. He got the memo. I know. It was hand delivered. That one got the memorandum of understanding that the docks and the marina area at this place was to be left alone. And he chose to ignore it. So he goes to swim. Look at that little basilisk lizard. Got its head just stuck right on up there. some pretty decent sized ones out over there now.
another invasive species. Yeah, it was funny, folks, when uh, when I first pulled up here a moment ago, this, uh, this grassy area right in front of us loaded with iguanas. They actually knew the sound of the truck. And even as far back as I was, In this one. I think I see a big one. Getting ready to take out some of the offenders.
where did that little one go? See one down here and got the head popping up. Oh, look at it. It's dropping the head down a little bit. It knows it's been spotted. He ain't getting away from that.
You can have it if you want. I've taken over a hundred out in the last two days. Uh, it's pretty much dead. She's, t she's taking a picture. That's three. What do you do with them? What do you do? Them? When you bring them? Dispose. They go for disposal. Yeah, they're tearing up seawalls. They're doing a lot of damage, like the seawalls, uh, uh, building foundations, a lot of damage. And they multiply like rats. Females can hold up to 70 eggs every time. Yeah. Then how did that little one climb his way back up there? See ladies and gentlemen, even after it's been shot, it still can climb this. He'll be a floater soon. Look at this monster. Oh, I did not like that. Right in the side of the neck. Oh, right in the head.
you. All right, buddy, you're coming with me. Oh, there it is. Night night. Iguana exterminators, we get our iguanas. Ah, yes, excellent. Traps are working. How about it there, kiddo? You look like a pool pooper to me. Yeah, look at you. Alright, we're gonna go get some more pellets to euthanize your 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 Oh yeah. Alright folks, so with the landscapers out, we're actually going to go check out this other side of the marina over here. I think we may have a little bit better results. Look at it, they're like green rats.
Wow, this is like a turkey shoot out here. And out I am. Alright guys, so that wraps up another successful day out here in Deerfield. Uh, we ended up taking out I think around 50, but um, definitely still a good day. In any case, uh, I think what we're going to do is recommend that these guys put in a physical barrier around their pool area. And uh, I've got some ideas I'm going to talk to them because with the, uh, with the tri-rail right next to that and all that open land and all the water, these things are like trying to sweep back the tide. It's just, you can do so much, you know, but... I would need to be here 24-7 with a pellet gun to keep them out of the pool, to be completely honest. There's just that much area and that many of them. In any case, thanks for ch checking us out, and uh, you guys have a great day.